Welcome and thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build out price and option a 2018 Chrysler 300. But before we do, let's find out what's new for 2018. Uh, honestly, the big deal is that Chrysler has shuffled the 300's features and trim levels around, but otherwise the car remains mechanically the same. The V8 engine was previously available across the board. You could get that no matter what trim you chose, but now it's only offered in just two trim levels. Uh, speaking of trim levels, let's just quickly run down run down the trim level stuff real fast, and then we'll jump into the build. So while there are multiple trim levels, I think we're gonna I know which uh, trim level we're gonna build, but I'm gonna save that in for just a second. So for 2018, Chrysler is a full size sedan available in five trim levels: the 300 Touring the 300 Touring L, the 300 S, the 300 Limited, and the 300 C. The standard engine in the Touring, the S, and Limited trims is a 3.6 liter V6 that's got 292 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. Uh, that same engine makes a bit more power than the 300 S, and that comes in at 300 horsepower and 264 pound-feet of torque so probably through some software tuning they're able to just squeeze out a little bit more performance when you go for the S model um, an 8-speed automatic transmission is standard equipment as is rear-wheel drive all-wheel drive is optional the 300 C models come with a 5.7 liter V8 um, that's rated at 363 horsepower and 394 pound-feet of torque so the car is going to really move and that's made it with an 8-speed automatic and rear drive only so if you get the if you want the 5.7 liter engine if you want the Hemi engine um, well you're not going to be able to get all-wheel drive so if all-wheel drive is important to you then you're going to be going with the V6 but I can tell you right now because I've had the opportunity to drive a 2018 300 limited that has the 292 horsepower uh, Pentastar V6 in it and with with 260 pound-feet of torque and I can say that it that the power is very adequate it's very very adequate it's a big car but that engine moves the car effortlessly so um, plenty of performance there plenty of power there even in the base in the base engine so like I was saying, you know, there's a lot of trims. There's there's the 300 Touring, the 300 Touring L, the 300 S, the Limited, which I've had uh, some seat time in, and the 300 C, which is the their top of the line. So here's what I know about the 300, the the Limited. I thought the lim the Limited was a great car. Lots of cool, lots of uh, very cool car. 20 inch wheels, all that good stuff. The only thing that I thought was a little bit of a letdown was the handling. I thought was a little bit soft, a little squishy, a um, little wallowy. Right, it's a big car, so the suspension could be a little bit tighter. Could have been a little bit tighter, and for that reason, for that reason, we're going to go with the Chrysler uh, 300S build. A, we get a little bit more performance out of that same engine, and like I said, I was really happy with this 3.6 liter engine and so if they're able to squeeze out a little bit more performance hey that makes the car even better even better now do you need the Hemi engine no you don't need the Hemi engine so I guess it really comes down to do you do you want the performance of the Hemi or do you want the the sure footedness or something uh, of the four wheel drive right so because I, I love ultimate sport and for the sake of this build we gotta pick one way or the other we're gonna select the Hemi engine so that means we're gonna keep this at rear wheel drive and so that's gonna give us the 363 horsepower uh, Hemi but what I really like the 300 s for is that it gives us the performance tuned suspension now I have not had a chance to spend any seat time in this car to see how that suspension works versus the limited but if it makes it stiffer then I'm all about it because that's all really the car needs and because it's a nice car otherwise so says so the MSRP is just a uh, 35,008 basically 
Um, so let's jump into the build. Now I do know that when we grab the Hemi engine, it's like about a $3,000 option to get this uh, engine. So let's find out. And we'll choose colors when we get over here. Okay, so let's wait for this to load. All right, so we're at $35,000. Now we've got to still come back down here just to double check, make sure we're right, and we'll build it from here. And right off the bat, first thing we want to select is that 5.7 liter Hemi V8. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select that. As I was saying, that's a $3,000 option. Uh, so it says the selection of that particular engine of the Hemi engine requires the following changes to your configuration. Please choose one of the required items. So you've got to get either the Beats Audio Group or the 300S Premium Group 2. Well, the reality is we're going to get all of that because what I think is I think the 300S is the best model because it's the sportiest one. You get the sport suspension, and even though the 300C is the top of the line, you can add all those options to the S, and now you really have a better car because it's got the sporty suspension, and it's got a little bit more appearance. It's got the sport appearance package. Um, so we'll go ahead and select the Beats Audio for this one. And I guess we can select the 300S Premium Group 2. Now that Premium Group gives us what? Just so we can be clear. It gives us the uh, adaptive by Zen and headlamps. The auto adjust and reverse exterior mirrors. That means they tilt down a little bit. So when you're backing up you can see curbs and things like that. It's a nice feature. Uh, the driver's auto dimming exterior mirror, automatic headlamp leveling system, blind spot and cross path detection. I think that's a there's a great features no matter what uh, car you're shopping for. Door sill scuff pads. That's like the the chrome uh, strips right here. The door sills. Um, what else? Uh, driver and passenger lower LED lamps. Exterior mirrors with turn signals. Nice. Exterior mirrors with courtesy lamps. Uh, front and rear LED map pockets, heated second row seats, heated steering wheel, park sense, uh, and rear park assist system, uh, backup sunshade or backlight sunshade, power tilt, telescoping uh, steering wheel. So you're getting a lot of stuff. It's loaded. It's loaded. And you're getting that for, we don't see the price, but we'll be able to check that price out in a little bit. But the price is going to be going to be fair. All right. So the total price is going to increase by just $1,800. I mean, it's nothing for as much stuff as you're getting. If you were going to get a German car, for instance, and you wanted all those options, it would certainly cost you more than $1,900 to get those options. So now we've got a lot of stuff here. Let's move on to packages. Um, let's see. So, so the Premium Group 2... That was 1895. Now, what's this premium group? This is 3500. Now, what's the deal? Now, there's a. Now, there is a triangle here, and so what does the triangle tell us? The triangle lets us know that. Right, there's a conflict. Right, we'd have to we'd have to change something. So, if we wanted to add and made sure that we had everything and absolutely loaded. Um, 300s but these features seem like some of them already exist like exterior turn signal mirrors I remember that the blind spot detection let's click add and see what it says so okay so I guess we're gonna be upgrading the U connect alright that works let's upgrade the U connect where are we at we're sitting at thirty six thousand dollars and when you're talking about a premium uh, big body sedan it's not a lot of money all right, so what's the alloy package add? I don't think we're going to get it. Uh, dark bronze aluminum wheels, that's kind of cool. Dark bronze badging, grill, titanium chrome wing badge, titanium finish exhaust tips. Well, that kind of sounds interesting, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. Let's get that. We're going to make this car loaded. We're going to make this car loaded. So, oh, but wait a minute. I don't really want the black and, and, and caramel interior. So based on that, if we've got a trade to that, then then it's a no deal. So we're going to get out of that. Um, so we'll skip the alloy package. It's no big deal. Now, the Model S appearance package, for those of you who don't know, let's go over the details so you know what you're getting. 
you get a uh, black chrome surround chrome s grill right that's the chrome surround grill uh, body color fascia applique right they're talking about this lower fascia down here and it looks very sporty body color fascias um, lower grill close out panels somewhere down here they're talking about premium LED fog lights right you can see the LED fog lights here and then you get a body color rear spoiler so that's cool um, so it just looks better and you get the sport tuned suspension now the safety tech plus group what's included for the 1700 that brake assist cruise control lane departure warning rain sensitive wipers yes please we want all of that because if we were buying a German car there's no way we could get all this stuff for just a few thousand dollars so we want all the tech on this on this nice strong American car with a very nice Hemi V8 in it so we already opted for the Beats audio group which is why I don't understand why it's not added here let's go ahead and add it just to double check make sure we're good okay we're good now let's move to exterior. I thought we had selected that Beats Audio from previous, but maybe we didn't. Or we deselected it when we did something else, possibly, is probably what happened. So we'll do these dark bronze wheels. Yeah, I think that I guess that does look good. Um, now that 2018 Limited that I had a chance to spend some time with, that was a shade of gray, and I want to I think it was this granite crystal exterior paint. And I have to say, it was really attractive. I don't know if that's what it was. It was either that Maximum Steel. Mm. Well, based on this picture, that looks very blue. Uh, let's see what the ceramic gray clear coat looks like. Uh, I think I've seen that, and, it, and I don't think it was that. I think it was a granite uh, crystal exterior paint. That, that sounds nice. These also look nice in white, however. So let's flip that up. I'm going to go with the bright white exterior paint. Uh, that's going to be really attractive. I've seen them with the spoilers on them in white, and they look really good. Those bronze wheels are going to really pop against the white with the white, uh, the contrast of the white body. So that's going to be really attractive. And, well, to boot, it's going to be that much easier to keep clean because it's a white car. So let's move on. I think we've got everything. Uh, so we've got a selection here, all season performance tires versus the, you know, the regular summer tires. Well, you know, you can't beat $95 for to, to upgrade to all performance tires. But the reality is, is that most people that are going to be driving this car are not going to be doing any driving, any performance driving. And, you know, you're going to be dealing with inclement weather. And so that all-season performance tire, to me, is going to be the smarter choice. So we're going to leave the all-season performance tire on it. The black painted roof... You know, if this was a Dodge Charger SRT 392 Scat Pack or something like that, then yeah, we could do that. By the way, I did do a video on the Dodge Charger SRT 392 and the Hellcat as well. If you get back to my go back to my channel, you can uh, I'll leave a link in the description below to both of those so you can see those videos. Um, but we'll skip that. If this was a Dodge Charger, then we'd do that. But I don't think on the Chrysler. The Chrysler is supposed to be more upscale. That's supposed to be the level up. That's supposed to be the luxury model. And even though this is the performance model, it's still the performance model of the luxury model. So we're going to skip the black painted roof thing. Let's go to interior. What do they got for interior? Now we're going to choose our seats. We're going to stick with the ventilated leather trim sports seats. That's included. Um, let's see if they show us the picture. Maybe not. Uh, I think there's an S embro uh, an, uh, embroiled in uh, stitched on the seats um, so I think there's an S there I know there was in the 17 models I don't see why it would be any different in the 18 they do that embroidery so yeah we got the S there um, we've got ah that's that was the update the you connect with the nav by standard when we had this standard it had the you connect 4c same display size but without the navigation Right. Is the navigation really that big of a deal? No, but I always like getting the upgraded model because it's always going to have the most features because these these cars come standard with uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So the reality is if you're really going to need to do any maps, I know I, I use uh, I use I have an iPhone and I'm going to I would fire up the Apple map before I 
punched in coordinates on on any nav screen on any car uh if, if apple carplay was an option i would choose that over over the any car's standard navigation system for sure so okay boom all right wireless phone charging pad by mopar that sounds interesting if that's integrated into the car perfect i want that let's do that for 350 i'm there already comes with the dual pane panoramic sunroof uh the cargo net you know this is stuff that you could get at the dealer this is all accessory stuff. You don't have to order that now. You can get this whenever you want. You can buy this stuff on eBay. I mean, it's going to be all over the place. Um, electronic vehicle tracking system by Moldpar. If they give us the details, they don't say anything. But that seems interesting. I would want to know a little bit more about it. But let's just say that more than likely, yes, I would probably want that. I'd like to know a little bit more about how that works. And I guess we could do, I guess you could do grab this this link highlight it and you could right click that and say you know you could copy that and search google uh and see what comes up for that to find out some more information i didn't do that but yeah i would probably want that and and most and in all likelihood okay so that's it really the car started off at somewhere around thirty-five thousand, and with all the options easily optioned out as well as a plat as a 300c We've got something that's even better. We've got the all-wheel drive. We've got a 300S sport tuned suspension. It's got the you know a sportier body package um, with a wing. And we also did the bronze pack. Or no, we didn't do the bronze package because that was going to change the color of the seats, and we did not want that. So we did. We skipped on that bronze package, but we did get the Hemi, and that gives you a little bit different uh, eight-speed transmission. We have the Model S, which comes with that appearance package. We've got the Safety Tech Plus Group, the 300S Premium Group, the Premium Group 2. We upgraded to the Beats Audio System. We did the bright white exterior paint, the hyper black wheels, all season tires, uh, black interior, ventilated leather trim sport seats. We've got the Uconnect 4C with the navigation, the wireless phone charging, the dual pan the dual pane panoramic sunroof, and the vehicle tracking system. All in all our options, we spent just under twelve thousand dollars in options, and as far as I'm concerned, it was money well spent. For forty thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful car that has lots of performance, it has lots of luxury, lots of tech, and it's coming in easily twenty twenty five thousand dollars and more cheaper than any of its German equivalents to get a car with that's that's got uh that's that's a hundred and ninety eight inches long, I believe the car is. So, you know, this is a full size car with with shoulder room in it that's equivalent to an S-Class Mercedes. So you're getting a big luxury car for $40,000, and it has a lot of the tech. And so a lot of car. I think it's a, a money well spent, and it's a good buy. But So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. We're almost 20 minutes into it. But before I go, I just want to say two things. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you if you found this video helpful, please subscribe because I'm going to do other videos like this and uh, share the video if you think it's going to be helpful for somebody. Uh, lastly, tell me how you would have optioned out one of these Chryslers. You know they come in different trims. What would you have gotten and why? Please leave your comments uh, in the in the section below. All right, and I'll leave those links to the uh, Dodge Chargers uh, to those videos in the description. Okay, thank you.